Our program is run by Corridor de Oro. That program focuses on um, expanding our knowledge of our oceans as well as our land and connecting us to both. They have a bunch of students and they come to learn about the traditions like planting the utsu, removing taramel, fishing, dakiri patsuki. So what this means is we go into the valleys and our mountains. We see the ecosystems living there. We um, we're able to watch and see how animals up there live and we're, we're able to see different plants and different species that we wouldn't normally see here. Then we would come down uh, to around the mainland and that's where all our paitaros are. And then it goes down to the reef, our ocean, and our animals living there, all the different impacts, um, erosion and land and human activities has on our ocean and they're all connected with each other. That's why I came to this program to get off the phone. No more being anti-social. Uh, something I want to do more of is uh, free diving because I'm not used to it but once I did it once I wanted to like do it again because it felt cool and it felt like I'm, I can like stay underwater for long and talk to the fish and then they're gonna be my friend and then that's why they're gonna call me Aquaman. I really enjoy it. We get to go scuba diving and now I'm a rescue diver. And the next one is a master diver and I can't wait to be a master diver. And also another thing is our teachings are mainly first hand. <laughs> it's always out there. that you had to make a chump for the fish so it, it attracts the fish to come and eat the bait so you had to wrap it into a leaf and then you grab a rock and then you wrap the line around the rock and also the bait when i saw the fish i was pretty excited to see a live fish being pulled out because that's my first time seeing a live fish being caught and yeah it's pretty cool I like it because it's, it's cool, it's, it's nice being out in the ocean. I've been helping with the Operation Taramea to uh, remove as much as we can of the Taramea that um, is destroying our coral reefs. When we look for Taramea underwater, we look for bleached corals and white corals that have been eaten by the Taramea. They usually signal where the Taramea has been, so it will usually be around bleached corals. We remove the Taramea by using a long stick with a hook on the end to pull it out, which is, can sometimes be difficult since it likes hiding in the cracks. It's also difficult because Taramea stings are quite painful. The part that I found most interesting was the knowledge that I'm helping save our reefs and ultimately I'm helping save our our country in the face of climate change and global warming and I love the fact that I'm helping stop it and I'm helping my land and my country and my culture. So for me something that I found interesting in the project and something that I've learned well I guess is um, coral taxonomy. I know the genus names of most corals and that's thanks to this project. <laughs>
Übung und abwendig. Jetzt haben wir einen As the knowledge is passed down to us, we absorb every bit of it, I guess. And as we grow older, we would pass down that knowledge to the younger generation again. I learned Titomo fishing from my papa, Papa Iro. I just put the bait in and don't chase the fish. You let the fish come to your bait. And it was pretty good. I caught some big pataki. It is amazing because I get to connect with others, connect with my culture. My perspective of the environment has become more detailed. I've grown a more attached feeling towards the environment and looking after it. Wow.